Hi, Assalamualaikum. I am Teacher Aisha. So today I am going to present about the Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, which is known as ADHD, and also Learning Disability. So what is ADHD? ADHD is known as a Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. It's a heterogeneous behavioral disorder of uncertain cause that always in evident in childhood by that typically proceeds through adolescence and some and for some into adulthood. Right, this is a few clinical features that have been present in ADHD. So firstly is the inattention, hyperactivity and impulsivity. So in attention they, are, they will demonstrate by the failure to attend to details, difficulty sustaining attention during play. Also, inability to listen actively to instructions or conversation. And also, difficulty organizing tasks and evidence of tasks that require sustained attention. Alright, for hyperactivity, in hyperactivity, they will frequent projecting or irritability to sit when remaining seated in expected place, which is example in classroom. And also difficulty playing quietly and excessive talking and being constantly on the go. And uh, for the impulsivity, they will be in ability to wait one turns, frequent and incessant interruptions and blurting out of answers before a question is asked. So there is uh, some explanations for the first point which is inattention, hyperactivity and impulsivity. For the second point, they will also present in easily to distracted and often forgetful in daily activity. Third one is low frustrated tolerance. Fourth one is sleep disorder, boziness, excessive and frequent demands for attention. Mood liability, demo realizations, dysphoria, peer reactions, and poor self esteem. Okay, for the intervention, they have two types of intervention from ADHD. The first one is by medications, and second one was by therapies. So, for the medication, they have two types um, ubat. The first one is amphetamines and the met second one is metal penedite. Okay. They have some side effect from from taking the medication. The first one was weak loss, loss of appetite. The third one is interrupted sleep patterns and also the slow growth. But in the side effect, they have an advantage from taking the medication. The first one is to improve or increase the overage, over activity, attention spans, and impulsivity, and self control, compliance, physicals, and aggressions. Social interaction with peers and also can increase the academic productivity and accuracy. Also, there was a uh, function. In a mood setting, which is uh, the medication will be controlled, the the their activity daily living. All right. Other than that, they have a therapy. Okay. So one of the therapy that can be cured by not cured can be okay. This is not by cured but can help to control the ADHD. The first one is cognitive behavioral therapy. Second was behavioral therapy, educational intervention, social skill training, and also last one is psychotherapy. So, all right, now I'm going to talk about the learning disability. So what is learning disability? This is a disorder in one or more of the basic connective and psychological process involved in understanding or using written or spoken language. May be magnified in age-related impairment in the ability to read, write, spell, speak, or perform mathematical calculations. 
So from the definition, they have mentions that people who had the learning disability, they will be impairment in reading, write, spell, speak, or performing mathematical calculation. So from that disability, there has some types or some categories that describe type by type disability. Okay, the first one was disorder of motor function so what what they will describe what person will be present in disorder of motor function the first one is include of motor skills and motor activity level so the motor uh, they will have motor skill defunction which is a clumsiness poor performance in gross or fine motor dyspraxia equilibrium deficits or sensory motor problems. Also, they will present tics, grimaces, and choreotatoid movements. Last one is they will have hyperactive or hypoactivity in their characteristics. Okay. The second one was educational disorder. So, they will occur in one or more academic subject. They will affect lah. They will affect one or more academic subject or subject. So they will have a limited, a limit, limited of, de or delay in copying from the blackboard, printing and cursive writing, organizing time and materials, understanding writing and oral directions, reverse letters, cutting, coloring. Drawing and keeping place on the page. Alright, the third one is disorder of attention and concentration. They will have short attention spans and others' attention deficit, restlessness, impulsivity, and motor and verbal preservation. Preservations. Okay, the fourth one was disorder of thinking and memory. So they will have difficulty with abstract reasoning and concept formations and by poor short and long term memory capabilities. Okay, yang kelima, they will have problem with speech and communication, difficulty shifting topics of conversation, difficulty difficult with small talks, difficult with sequencing or words, sentences or sound. Slow words and articulations problem. The for yang keenam, auditory difficulties. So uh, auditory perceptual and auditory memory problems and not from hearing problems. So they will have a uh, difficulty to remember oral directions, sound outwards, block out background noise, and the sequencing of sounds, words of or numbers. Okay, yang ketujuh, sensory integrative and perceptual disorder. They will have difficulty with literality and directionality concepts and thoughts that require visual perception skill. For the eight, they will have psychosocial problem. They will present as a temper tantrum or antisocial behavior and child social competency may be delayed compared with their chronological age and mental age. So they will uh, will have sensitive and poor as self esteem and self concept. Alright, for the last one, the specific learning difficulties that accompany the learning disability. This is known as a reading disability. So a person who got, uh, they have disability with the writing, with the writing, with the write, reading, spell. So they will have one or more categories. Okay, from the categories.